With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is statement 1. That is, one coulomb charge deposits one gram equivalent of a substance. And statement 2 is, one Faraday is the charge on the one mole of electrons. So, we are given here two statements and we have to find out that these statements are correct or not and statement 2 is the correct explanation for statement 1 or not. So, first statement is one coulomb charge deposits one gram equivalent of a substance. So, this can be known from the Faraday's first law. So, Faraday's first law, it says that the amount of the substance that deposits or the dissolved at any electrode in the electrolysis process that is proportional to the amount of charge passed that is amount W that is proportional to amount of charge passed and charge is current into time and this is equals to ZIT where Z is the electrochemical equivalent and it is equal to the equivalent weight divided by 96500 into current into time. Now, W by equivalent weight, this is equal to the current into time upon 96500 and this is equal to the number of equivalents. Weight upon equivalent weight is the number of equivalents. Now, says 1 coulomb charge, it means current into time because charge is current into time. So, if we say that charge is 1 coulomb, it means 1 coulomb divided by 96500. So, if charge is 1 coulomb, then the amount of substance that is the equivalent of substance deposit will be equal to 1 coulomb upon 96500. But it is saying that it deposits 1 gram equivalent. It will not deposit 1 gram equivalent, but will, it will deposit 1 upon 96500 gram of equivalent because it is equal to this number of equivalents equal to this if the charge is 1 coulomb. So, this statement is false. Now, second statement is 1 Faraday is the charge on 1 mole of electrons. So, now the charge that is charge on 1 electron that is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb and 1 mole is equal to 1 mole of anything is equal to 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23. Now charge on 1 mole of electron it means if charge on 1 electron is this and 1 mole equals to this so we will multiply this. So, it is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb into 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 and this is approximately equals to 96500 coulomb. It means this is equals to 1 Faraday because 1 Faraday is equals to 96500 coulomb. So, this is the correct statement that the 1 Faraday it is the charge on the 1 mole of electrons. So, this is the correct statement. Now, the correct answer to this question will be statement 1 is false and statement 2 is true. So, correct answer will be the D option. Statement 1 is false and statement 2 is true. I hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.